Hey, Kelly. Ugh, so jealous of your boobs. Thank you. For years, Jenna Fisher charmed viewers as Pam Beasley on The Office. But recently, she faced a challenge far more daunting than any Scranton Paper Company drama. In October 2023, a routine mammogram led to a life-altering breast cancer diagnosis. With the same courage and resilience that endeared her to millions, Fisher recently broke her silence about her battle, sharing a journey from shock to triumph. Her story is filled with raw honesty and unwavering hope. This video explores how she navigated this unexpected turn with grace and humor. A shocking discovery. Am I going to tell them? No, I'm not going to tell them. I don't see the point of that. As a doctor, you would not tell a patient if they had cancer. In October 2023, Jenna Fisher did what many women do. She went in for her routine mammogram. With a touch of humor characteristic of her office character, she even posted on Instagram, reminding followers to take care of those ticking time bags. Little did she know that this lighthearted reminder would take on a whole new meaning in the coming months. After inconclusive results due to dense breast tissue, Fisher's doctor ordered a follow-up ultrasound. This additional step is not uncommon, especially for women with dense breast tissue, which can make mammogram readings more challenging. It was during this additional screening that something concerning was found in her left breast. The discovery of an anomaly can be a terrifying moment for anyone, and for Fisher, it marked the beginning of an unexpected journey. A biopsy was quickly scheduled, a procedure that involves removing a small sample of tissue for examination. On December 1, 2023, Fisher received news that would change her life. She had stage 1 triple positive breast cancer. The diagnosis came as a shock, particularly given Fisher's age and apparent good health. It serves as a stark reminder that cancer can affect anyone, regardless of their lifestyle or public persona. Triple positive breast cancer is known for its aggressive nature but it's also highly responsive to treatment. This type of breast cancer is characterized by the presence of three specific growth-promoting proteins, estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors, and HER2 proteins. While the diagnosis is daunting, the presence of these receptors actually provides more targets for treatment, often leading to better outcomes when caught early. Understanding the specifics of her diagnosis likely helped Fisher and her medical team develop a targeted treatment plan. For Fisher, this diagnosis set in motion a whirlwind of medical interventions and life changes. In January 2024, she underwent a lumpectomy to remove the tumor. This surgical procedure involves removing the cancerous tissue while preserving as much healthy breast tissue as possible. Fortunately, the cancer was caught early and had not spread to her lymph nodes or other parts of her body. This early detection was crucial in Fisher's treatment journey and ultimate recovery. It underscores the importance of regular screenings and prompt follow-up on any concerning results. A journey through treatment. Jenna Fisher shared on Instagram today that she was diagnosed with stage 1 triple positive breast cancer last December. She underwent surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. The 50-year-old says she is now cancer-free. Fisher's treatment journey was intense but focused, reflecting the aggressive nature of her cancer type. Beginning in February, she underwent 12 rounds of weekly chemotherapy. This regimen, while grueling, is designed to systematically destroy cancer cells throughout the body. The weekly schedule allowed for consistent treatment while giving Fisher's body time to recover between sessions. This was followed by three weeks of radiation starting in June. Radiation therapy uses high-energy beams to target any remaining cancer cells in the specific area where the tumor was found. Throughout this process, she also received infusions of two additional medications to combat the cancer. These additional drugs likely included targeted therapies designed to address the specific characteristics of triple positive breast cancer. The physical toll of cancer treatment is well known, and Fisher was not spared its effects. She lost her hair during chemotherapy, a side effect that can be particularly challenging for many cancer patients. And for many people, especially those in the public eye, like Fisher, this visible sign of cancer treatment can be emotionally difficult to handle. However, Fisher approached the challenge with creativity and humor, demonstrating the resilience that fans have come to associate with her character Pam Beasley. She turned to wigs and hats with attached hair, which her family affectionately dubbed Wigats. This clever solution allowed her to maintain her privacy 
and continue working without revealing her diagnosis until she was ready. Fisher's approach to this side effect demonstrates the resilience and adaptability often required of cancer patients as they navigate their treatment journey. Despite the difficulties, Fisher remained positive throughout her ordeal. In her Instagram post, she shared, I'm happy to say I'm feeling great. This resilience in the face of such a daunting diagnosis is inspiring. It's important to note that maintaining a positive attitude during cancer treatment isn't always easy, and it's okay for patients to have difficult days. Fisher's openness about her journey, including both the challenges and the moments of positivity, provides a realistic and relatable narrative for others facing similar diagnoses. The Power of Early Detection Remember that early screening with mammogram ultrasound or MRI can help detect breast cancer and can improve the chances of cure. Fisher's experience highlights the critical importance of regular cancer screenings. She emphasized in her post that if she had waited just six months longer to get her mammogram, her prognosis could have been much worse. The cancer could have spread, making treatment more complicated and reducing her chances of a full recovery. This realization prompted Fisher to use her platform to advocate for breast cancer awareness and early detection. She implored her followers to get their annual mammograms and to calculate their breast cancer risk assessment score. I'm serious, she wrote. Call your doctors right now. The American Cancer Society recommends that women at average risk of breast cancer should start annual mammograms at age 45, with the option to start at 40 if they choose. Women at higher risk due to family history or genetic factors may need to start screenings earlier or have additional tests. Fisher's story underscores the importance of not only following these guidelines, but also being proactive about one's health. Fisher's story serves as a powerful reminder that cancer doesn't discriminate. Even those who appear healthy and lead active lives can be affected. Regular screenings can make all the difference in catching cancer early when it's most treatable. Early detection often means more treatment options, less extensive surgery, and better outcomes overall. A support system and looking forward. Throughout her cancer journey, Fisher leaned heavily on her support system. She expressed deep gratitude to her medical team, family, friends, and fellow cancer survivors. In a touching detail, she mentioned that one of the photos she shared was taken by Joshua Snyder, the husband of her former Office co-star Angela Kinsey. This small gesture underscores the importance of a strong support network during such challenging times. Now cancer-free, Fisher is ready to move forward. She's ditching the wigs and embracing her new look, which she describes as a patchy pixie. This embrace of her changed appearance is another testament to Fisher's resilience and positive attitude. For many cancer survivors, coming to terms with physical changes can be a significant part of the recovery process. And she's using her experience to make a difference. By sharing her story, Fisher hopes to inspire others to prioritize their health and not delay important screenings. Celebrity advocacy can have a powerful impact on public health awareness. When well-known figures, like Fisher, speak out about their experiences, it can help reduce stigma around cancer and encourage others to take proactive steps for their health. Now it's time to hear from you. How has Jenna Fisher's story impacted your view on the importance of regular health screenings? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.